scenario where the DNS query for a specified domain, in my case sumit.com, should get redirected to an internal DNS server and rest of the DNS traffic should get resolved via the FortiGate firewall. And this can be achieved using the conditional DNS forwarder. For example, on my screen, as you can see, the simple network topology where we have a client machine 10, 10, 10, 12 with a gateway 10, 10, 10, 108. And the DNS server is specified as 10, 10, 10, 108. Connecting to the port 3 48 firewall 10, 10, 10, 108, which is the LAN port. And the WAN port here is port 1 with an IP of 192.168.0.108. Port 2 connects the internal DNS server 14.140.40.108. And the internal DNS server is running on 14.140.40.11, which is specifically configured to provide all sort of resolution intended for the internal domain, which is summit.com. So in conditional DNS forwarder, you will have to explicitly configure the client machine with the DNS server here in my case 10, 10, 10, 108. So in the conditional DNS forwarder, the FortiGate firewall will act as a DNS server. For example, port 3 here in our case is acting as the DNS server and the FortiGate firewall will inspect all the DNS query on port 3 and then we'll take the decision if it has to forward the traffic to the internal DNS server, which is 14140.40.11, or it has to use the configured DNS IP to get the query result and then relay the information back to the client. So in conditional DNS forwarder, you will have to specifically define the DNS IP as the interface IP acting as the DNS server on the FortiGate firewall. And if you compare the same with the transparent conditional DNS forwarder. If you see here, the DNS IP configured on the client machine is 8.8.8 .8 or it could be any external DNS server or internal DNS server. So here in transparent conditional DNS forwarder, the FortiGate firewall will just inspect the pass through DNS query and then will forward the query if it is intended to summit.com to the internal DNS server, which is 14140.40.11. So this is the basic difference. Now, moving on to our FortiGate firewall for the configuration. This is my FortiGate firewall, and you can see the interfaces, the port one acting as the LAN port, port three acting as LAN and the DNS server port 2 acting as the internal DNS interface which connects to the internal DNS server and the respective IPs you can see the first thing is you will have to go to system feature visibility and enable the DNS database so that you can alter the database and create the filter so click apply once that is done if you come to the network, you will see the option DNS server. And first, we'll try to create a new DNS service on interface. We will select the LAN DNS server. So we want this particular interface, port 3, to act as the DNS server. So we will keep in recursive mode. And we'll click OK. So now we have the interface, port 3 acting as the DNS server. Now we will create the DNS database. Click on create new. Enter the name of the DNS zone. And enter the domain name. In our case it is host name. I'm not changing contact email address also I'm keeping it default but you can obviously configure as per your requirement in your network TTL is one day and since this particular uh, firewall is not the authoritative uh, entity for this particular domain so I'm going to disable this authoritative 
option here and in the DNS forwarder well I'll have to specify the IP address of the internal DNS server 14140411 which is the authoritative entity for the resolution of any query related to this particular domain which is summit.com so click on new and add that particular IP of the internal DNS server that's it click OK so now the configuration is done so any query on to port 3 if it is related to the domain summit.com which is an internal DN internal domain will get diverted to the internal DNS server 14140411 and rest of the traffic on port 3 any DNS query will be resolved by the 40 gate firewall using the default uh, DNS IP if you want you can alter the same and specify the external DNS that the 40 gate firewall should be using to get the resolution and relay the information back to the client machine so I'm going with the default uh, DNS server for the resolution purpose and yeah that's all about the configuration part coming to the firewall policy we have a normal policy to allow the traffic from port 3 to port 1 port 3 is the LAN port port 1 is the WAN port we have the normal NAT enabled and nothing else is configured in this particular security policy and we have enabled the policy click OK we have the normal static route configured and the gateway is the upstream perimeter device which provides the internet connectivity and that's all in this configuration now moving on to our 40 gate firewall so if you want to see the configuration from the CLI you can use the command and then check the output of the configured primary and secondary DNS and this is the uh, zone that we have configured and we have set the forwarder IP as 14140411 now if you check in this particular GUI you will not see the option to specify the source IP so if in your network if you want to use a specific IP for the DNS query when sending the DNS query to an internal DNS server in those cases you will have to use the CLI and you will have to enter into the internal zone that we have created and then set source IP as so this is the uh, firewall interface IP on port 2 14140 so I'm going to specify that using CLI since it is not possible from GUI that's it done so now I'll show you the configuration on the client machine like I said the client machine should, should be specifically configured with an IP DNS IP 10 10 10 108 since our LAN port is acting as the DNS server so we have specified 10 10 10 108 which is the IP address configured on port 3 which is acting as the DNS server and this is the difference in transparent mode you don't really have to worry about the DNS uh, server configured because the 48 firewall will intercept the DNS query and then will take the decision based on the configuration that you have Now let's try to test the 
configuration we'll try to uh, get the resolution for google.com and you can see i'm getting the proper resolution let me try to set the filter on the 40 gate firewall so i have the capture running on van port and i'll start a new capture on our LAN port as well for the port 53 protocol 17 just to capture the DNS uh, query and the last capture will be on the LAN 2 port which connects the internal DNS server and we'll take the capture on port 53 for protocol UDP so now we have three captures running on all three interfaces two LAN interface and one WAN interface so that we can check the result let us try to initiate some traffic from the client machine this is the client machine like I said all the DNS query for the regular domain should go to the 40 gate firewall port 3 and then 40 gate firewall will use the configured DNS IP to get the resolution and then relay the information back to the client machine so let us try to check that on port 1 I'll show you the query so this is the query for google.com and the resolution going back so you see this is the port 1 which is the WAN port and if you see the IP address here it is using the configured IP let me try to locate that query so this is the query if you see the destination it is using 96 45 45 45 to resolve the query so which means the firewall is, in, uh, is using the configured DNS server primary IP to get the resolution now we'll try to check the same on I guess this is port which connects the client machine so you can see this is the query coming from the client machine let me try to locate the so this is the query for google.com and if you see the destination 10 10 10 no no it which is the 40 gate firewall port 3 and the resolution going back and if you come to the last capture which is running on port 2 which connects an internal DNS server there is no query and if I go back to the client machine and try to do an lookup for let's say fg1.sumit.com which is now let's see so it is getting the resolution 10 10 10 108 let's try to check the capture and you can directly see the capture on port 2 which connects the internal DNS server and the query you can see destination you can see this is the forwarder IP that we have configured 14140411 and the resolution going back and if you come to the capture on port 1 which is the WAN port you will not see this particular query because it is getting forwarded to the internal DNS server I can show you the capture on LAN port 3 for this particular query so this is the query coming on to port 3 on the 40 gate firewall and the resolution going back we can do one last test as well let's try to access you know, facebook.com and we are getting the proper resolution now let's try to check the logs so for the facebook.com we'll try to isolate the packet capture 
So this is the query for facebook.com and you can see the 40 gate firewall using the configured primary IP to get the resolution and this is on port 1 which is the WAN port. Now let's try to check the capture on our LAN port, port 2 which connects to the internal DNS server and you can see there is no query which is expected because it is only going to forward the traffic for summit.com now let's try to check the capture on port 3 which receives the query so this is the query for the facebook.com that we initiated from the client machine 10 10 10 12 coming on to 40 gate firewall on port 3 10 10 10 108 and the resolution going back and that's all in this particular video if you have any question do leave them in the comment section i'll share the link for the diagram and the configuration in the description and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel hit the like button see you in the next video